Hey, listen, don't skip this part of the video, especially if you're not saying in the United States. This part of this video is very, very important. It's actually in the intro. I chose to bring it to the intro because I would want everybody to listen to it. That's why I had to make it the intro. You know, I've checked my YouTube analytics and uh, I went down to demographics and the, the locations of my viewers, where they're coming from. And I found out that much, most of my viewers are not actually from they're not all from Nigeria. I have viewers from the United States, from Kenya, from Ghana. So my patients are watching from France and all of it. So uh, there's a need for me to start making my videos in English. And uh, not my I'll be making in English, but you know, my accents. My accent is different. So I would want everybody to be understanding what I'm saying and the introduction, like the stories I'm making. So I would want I'll be making use of AI for the voiceovers and you will not always be seeing my face in my videos like more often anymore. So while making the video with the AI for the voiceover and the translation, so I gave them some prompts, you know, some things I wanted to translate and they said it's against their user policy. Why? Because it's how to bypass location and verification aspect when you're creating your account so the information i'll be giving you now is not something that you get in regular tutorials you understand these are the key things the basic things you need to set up if you are creating your account especially for the for the non-us residents or even if you're in us and you've created an account before and your account got terminated for some reason and you can't sign up any longer because your info is already in your database this video is also for you. And if you're not seeing in the United States, this video is also for you. So if you wanna create this account, outline half tax for different locations for everybody, different countries. But US is always exceptional because they have higher pay per hour. And if you sign up as a US resident, you will always be having tax there's no time that you will log into your dashboard and you see no tax there's always tax and this comes with higher pay up to 60 dollars per hour 50 dollars per hour us usually have the highest pay rates for all the freelance platforms so the problem now is that okay then how do i sign up i'm not staying in the united states and that brings us to this question so what you're going to do if you don't if you're not a us resident you will need to get somebody that's in the United States that could help you with their details for, for the sign up and verification. And that brings us to another question, what if I don't have some money in the United States? Yes, if you don't have somebody in the United States, then that's when you have to source for the IDs. And you can get this ID from anywhere. If you're in Nigeria, congratulations to you because it's easier to get these details if you're in Nigeria. There are a lot of persons that, that you can buy from. There are a lot of vendors. I, if you want to know more about that, there's no everything I'm gonna split here. Then you have to contact us in our in our LinkedIn. You have to contact us in our LinkedIn or the WhatsApp group that we've created where my you meet with my retailers, uh, my taxes and everybody there in the group. You understand? So you have to buy some people, some person already have an idea on how to do this. In the previous YouTube channel that got banned for by YouTube because of the information I'm spilling. You know how to buy from the dark web, how to buy from online vendors that are into uh, one or two other things. You understand? So, that is, so if you're able to get this ID, real IDs that have not been used before, then there's a way to bypass the verification with AI spoofing softwares because uh, Outlier is partnering with um, what is the name again for 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 verification. Um, it's not it's not OZ forensic and neither is it personal. Onfido. Outlier is working with Onfido and Onfido does not permit verification from laptop. The verification is usually through mobile phone. So you need this spoofing software to be able to verify. So you could get this spoofing software. I will leave the name in the description or in the in the in the pinned comment. So you have to check the pinned comments or description to see the name of the software. Or there is this Chrome extension that you could use it to seem as if you're verifying from your mobile phone. So that's what you're gonna need. You understand? But if you have somebody that is in the United States, then it will be easy for you. And again, you have to use anti-detect browsers. I've, uh, my reader have already made a video on how to connect this anti-detect browser, so you have to check the video. And also, I will be pinning, I will put the video um, 
in the uh, suggested videos up here but you have to check the video on how to use anti detect browser and how to use privacy you it's important to use either use ip royal or use not not maven you can use any of them they are all good but make sure you use uh strong proxies ip with uh, mobile ips don't use residential ips use mobile ips that's how you're gonna do so check the video on how to use anti detect browsers and uh, how to set all these proxies with google login and more login and all of it uh, the video is is already here in the channel or but the most reliable way to do this stuff how to the most reliable ways to do these things is to get somebody that is staying in the united states that's going to give you ultra viewer that's going to give you ultra viewer but if you don't have somebody that's going to give you ultra viewer you can also contact us in a whatsapp group or dm us in our linkedin uh, we have a lot of person that staying in the united states that could give you a try uh, uh, work with some person that i sent them money they bought pieces different pc like i have up to 15 pieces in the united states for ultra viewer so if you don't somebody that's going to give you a try and you don't want to make use of this method of anti detect browsers and proxy or rdp then ultra viewer is always the best like it's usually always the best your account is going to stay longer your account is going to last longer making use of this method so enjoy the video and uh, in this video you're gonna see the the the, the basic tax like the basic tax that uh, that you could do that have a uh, high periods you understand so stay tuned and watch this to the very end before chat gpt was like made available for the public it already happened a lot of times and people got paid for it let me show you what i mean if you ask chat gpt the simplest questions such as why Americans voted for Trump it'll give you a response right and then you can give it a score such as bad response or you can regenerate response and of course once it gives you this new response this regenerated response it will ask you right it'll ask you what do you think about it so was this response better or worse so you just go on to answer this liar AI what do you do there? Well, you just train AI tools. There's a lot of new AI tools coming up every day. And our job is to train the AI or just to give it the feedback so the developers can just fix the bugs or just make it better. This opportunity is on the website, which is called Outlier. It is over at outlier.ai. And as you can see, shape the next generation of AI with your expertise. Now, this is important your expertise. I mean, you don't have to be an expert in anything. You just have to have certain knowledge about a certain field of activity. And there's a lot of these. I'll just skip this now to show you. So there's a lot of these generalist ones. There's math, chemistry, law, data science, history, and there's 30 more. If you just click on here, you will be redirected to see all of the jobs that are available in training AI technology. If I just scroll down, you will see the list is endless. So for example, if you come from India, let's say, there's remote AI trainer for Hindi writers, right? There's a lot of different languages as well. And there's a lot of generalist, one of these down at the bottom. And if you click on any one of these, let's just say, I don't know, remote AI training for Afrikaans writers. I click on it. First of all, you can learn about how it works. You will learn about your responsibilities and you will learn about qualifications that you must meet. And of course, down there, it is going to tell you how much money you can expect. For for example, for this one is up to $15 per hour of work, right? And for this one in particular, you will just do this, as I've told you, rank a series of responses that were produced by an AI model. So they are training the AI model in this particular. You just have to, for example, come from this country, you know, where they speak this language. And this is gonna be the most important part of your work. Assess whether a piece of text produced by an AI model is factually accurate or not. Now, this will just involve a lot of Googling. If you don't know about specific topic, you can just Google for it, and then you can just check the facts, right? In a nutshell, there are three models that you can work on. First of all, there's rating and rankings, and it's just the same as I've shown you in this example. So was this response better or worse? That is the same thing that you're gonna do here, as you can see. 
the best model responses out of two or more options until the content is high quality enough to be accepted in review process. Contributors may also be asked to justify their selection in relation to specific criteria or factors. The next one is open rewrite. Now this is for text prompts and this is you testing the prompt. I don't like this one. It's just boring to me, but the last one is really good. With this one, you work with pictures, with images, with videos, and you train generative AI models, such as, you know, Midjourney, Leonardo, or NVIDIA AI. All of those tools had to go through this before they were made available to the public. And in a nutshell, that is gonna be your job. You have a lot of these people who are working on it. You can read some of these reviews and, yeah, you have to know about this. There is going to be the onboarding process, but this is not hard because you will get a squad leader or a mentor of yours and they will lead you through it. And as I've told you, you don't have to be any expert. You know, you just have to have a little bit of experience in related field of activity. So they will give you some tests, some screening tests, but you will get help all along the way. And as you can see, each domain's onboarding process looks a little different. Most require you to submit a resume and pass a screening exam to demonstrate your competence in the topic area. Some may require a virtual interview as well. So be ready for that. And the good thing about this one is that you will be paid when you successfully complete the onboarding process, right? It will vary how much money you get depending on like the area of expertise. But this is honestly a good thing and it doesn't take a lot of time as you can see. Onboarding modules usually take between one and five hours and you're done with it. And within 48 hours, you will be notified if you made it or not. The payment options are weekly payment options via PayPal or ARTM. They don't have any others. That's a shame, but I think PayPal works for most countries. And of course, you don't have to do it full time. You can just do it part time. They have a lot of people working five, 10 hours per week. There are some people who work 40 hours per week and this will go just like the same old, same old. The more you work, the more money you can get and the pay will depend on your location as well. So what do you have to do in order to get started with this one? First of all, head over to Outlier AI, click on login button here and then just click on sign up, which is located here. And then from here, you can just use your Google account. You just have to agree to these terms, sign up with Google. And what you will have to do is to fill in your education and work experience, then move on to verify your identity and phone number, verifying your email address as well. And the last one, that one that we talked about, is pass a skills assessment to determine your fit for projects. Now, some of these jobs pay more, such as this like self-help. But for this one, as you can see, you will have to answer certain questions that AI asks you. So if you don't have like any knowledge about that particular skill that is needed, do not apply for these because essentially you will just lose time. But as you can see, if you have, there's an opportunity to get you $32, depending on your level of expertise, but that is a good money, right? $32 per hour. I don't know, depending on where you live, but it is good. And yeah, you don't have to work on only one project. And after you finish the project, you can go over to the next one. As you can see, after completing a project, our contributors will have the opportunity to work on additional projects. So you don't have to worry if there's gonna be enough work for you if you wanna dedicate, I don't know, maybe 40 hours per week on this one if you wanna make this full time. But I gotta tell you that this is not something that will make you a millionaire. This is not something that will make you rich. It's not a get rich quick scheme, nor it is something that, you know, it, it, it's not success overnight. You have to work on it. It is good, it's good opportunity and it's fun, you know? It's not something that you just grind. It's it's fun. You get to meet new tools. You analyze things. You meet new tools and you see how they function. And when it goes out, it's really good to know that you had a certain place in making that AI tool. And yeah, it's fun. And it can be a great side hustle for you. The money is okay. But of course, it will depend on you. What are your skills and how many hours you want to input into this one? All in all, it's a good opportunity.